The Last King of the Eyelids by Herminia Sinha. The eyelids, or Heartland High Elves, ruled the Cyrodiil in the long ages of myth before the beginning of recorded history. One of the earliest recorded dates, in fact, is the fall of White Gold Tower in First Era 243, which is commonly assumed to mark the end of the eyelids. Although eyelid rule over all of Cyrodiil was indeed broken in First Era 243, this was only one of the most obvious stages near the end of a long decline. The first two centuries of the First Era saw increasing strife between the great eyelid lords of Cyrodiil. Alessia appears to have taken advantage of a period of civil war to launch her uprising. Imperial historians have traditionally attributed her victory to intervention from Skyrim, but it appears she had at least as much help from rival island lords during the siege of the White Gold Tower. The popular image of the islands as brutal slave masters is based, in fact, of course, but it is less well known that a number of eyelid, eyelid princes continue, continued to rule parts of Cyrodiil after 243 as vassals of the new Empress of Cyrodiil. This suggests either that eyelid rule was not universally detested or that Alessia and her successors were more pragmatic than is traditionally believed, or perhaps some of both. In any event, excavations at a number of island sites show continued occupation and even expansion during the so-called Late Island Period, First Era 243 to C498. At first, many island lords continued to rule as vassals of the new human regime. In some cases, island supporters of Alessia's were even rewarded with new lands taken from slain enemies. It's not clear to what extent human slavery continued under the Cyrodiilic Empire. Humans continued to dwell in the island ruled areas of Cyrodiil, but there is nothing definitive to show under what terms. This was an uneasy relationship from the beginning, and was not destined to last long. Resentment at the continued presence of eyelid nobles within the empire was a contributing factor to the rise of the so-called Alessian Order, founded by Marak. The first victims of the Alessians were the islands of Cyrodiil. In the early 300s, the surviving eyelid communities in human-ruled areas were obliterated one by one, the refugees temporarily swelling the power of the remaining eyelid lordships. Then in 361, the Alessians gained control of the empire and enforced the Alessian doctrines throughout its domain. The eyelid lordships were abolished. Enforcement of this decree does not appear to have required much direct violence. It seems that by this point, the balance of power was so overwhelmingly against them and their fate so long foreshadowed that most of the remaining islands simply left Cyrodiil, eventually being absorbed into the elven populations of Valinwood and High Rock. Indeed, the rise of the Dirini hegemony may be linked to this exodus of islands from Cyrodiil, a connection so far little studied by historians. Still, a remnant island population seems to have survived the rule of the Alessians because we hear of the last king of the islands joining the Battle of Glenumbria Moors, where the Dorinis decisively defeated the Alessians in 482. How this king's people survived the preceding century is unknown. We do not even know who they were, although recent research points to Ninalada as the possible resting place of this last king, and fortunately, in the current state of the empire, Funds are no longer available for proper scientific investigation of such extensive ruins, 
So the answer to these questions will have to be left to future generations. Oh. Ah. Don't hit me. Yeah, lots of zombies. Let's get out of here. 